على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان ما درس تنير مآثر الفكر Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Ramadan Eats with Shaz Eats. I think the best time of Ramadan is when your partner or the people in the the men in the family return back from Tarawih Salah and you have the delicious fruit platters out and there is always a dessert that one indulges in after that 20 rakat salah because it is a long evening. This dessert in particular is one of my favorite because it in, it has nuts and it has chocolate and it has lots of berries. It's got no refined sugar in it. So uh it is a dessert. You shouldn't have too much of it, but everything in moderation. But this kind of because of the balance of not using full fat cream and using coconut milk and not using a um a, a chocolate that's got sugar in it. This got no choc no sugar in it. and it's got an an array of really good health ingredients almond flour rolled oats desiccated coconut nuts coconut oil and maple syrup and berries so rather than going for white flours and heavy based creams and sugars this is an indulgence which is actually packed with lots of healthy ingredients so technically this is a chocolate tart and so we're going to make the the tart base for the chocolate tart and we're going to use these ingredients so these all go in my drawn multi quick 9 this is almond flour so that goes in first then i'm going to add in my rolled oats then i'm going to add in my coconut i've got some mixed nuts and i've got a couple of tablespoons of coconut oil and some maple syrup. So all of that goes in. I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of the almond flour that's gone in there. Going to add that top bit of the blender on and close it. Ala al-ayat wa al-dhikr وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان ما درس تنير مآثر الفكر and a crumble sort of texture has been created now you take it out take the blade out and you pour this mixture into your tart case and then you press it down and it you put it in the oven to bake for around 15 minutes I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to take out every last bit of it because um these ingredients um are quite expensive and you don't want to waste any bit of it. So make sure you take every little bit out from the tart case. Now I'm using a long tart tray but you can alternatively do it in a round one or you can do individual tarts for your family but use your fingers to press out the mixture as evenly as you can and it all just kind of joins together so once it's blended It does shrink a little bit when you bake it in the oven. Okay, I'm going to just take all the little bits left and squeeze that in as well. Really really simple. Once all the ingredients are blended together and that's it. What I'm going to do now is just prick it so it doesn't rise. And this simply goes into the oven for around 15 minutes. um not completely golden but it's got a color to it okay into the oven ala al-ayat wa al-dhikr wa fi fayd min al-atr huna ramadan ma darasat tunir ma'athir al-fikr 
I'm now going to make the chocolate filling for the chocolate tart. I'm using Nova chocolate and it's a sugar-free chocolate and it's got no dairy in it. It's made with cocoa butter and coconut oil. Um, and so I'm going to break this up and I'm going to put it into this contraption over here. This is like a bain marie. So the water goes in here and you heat it up. You can add your chocolate and it'll start melting up. So. Alternatively, you can use a 70% dark chocolate in this recipe if you can't get Nova. It doesn't have to be Nova. Okay, so I'm going to break my chocolate up and just wait for it to melt. And it's already starting to do that. So that was a hundred gram bar that I've just added in to the pot over here. Now this is coconut milk, full fat coconut milk that goes into the chocolate over here. And I'm going to mix this chocolate and the coconut together. I'm going to switch off the stove now because the chocolate is already heated. The coconut milk doesn't have to be heated up. It's just going to mix through. So at a particular point, it does look kind of gray, but just trust the process and keep stirring. Everything will just bind together and you'll have this lovely glossy, um, ganache that gets created. This delectably delicious ganache has been formed with the coconut milk and the chocolate and it's ready to pour onto the tart case that's in the oven. So I'm going to just check in the oven if that's done. You, you would know if the tart case is done if there is like kind of a golden color just starting to form on the top of the tart. على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر البكر. So this beautiful ganache now goes on top of the tart, which has just come out of the oven, and I'm using this cup holder because I think it's just easier to lift out the mixture. can see the glossiness. Now I've got a little bit of ganache left and um, it's not going to fit into this tart case but this would be great to use up in making an avocado mousse or you could add, throw in some egg whites and could it actually become um, a chocolate mousse on its own like that. Or you could actually use this and make it up into chocolate brownies. A lovely mixture. So if you have any leftover, don't just throw it away. Another alternative could be that you could actually even make hot chocolate. So after iftar, um, after Taravi Salah, you could give the family some hot chocolate with this. Would be lovely to have. Now this tart actually goes into the fridge to chill. And when it chills, it hardens up and we're going to top these up with berries. <laughs> The chocolate has been setting in the fridge for the last half an hour and I've released it from my cake, my tart tin, and it's now sitting on the dish that I'm going to serve it on. Now I've got an array of fruits, some strawberries, some raspberries, some pomegranate seeds and some figs. Figs, um, as soon as there is surullah, so my absolute faves. I'm going to do like a mixture of figs and strawberries and berries and you can do whatever design or style that you would like to have. So 
thing I'm going to do. Do the big fruits first and then fill up the spaces with the berries. So take your time, be a little bit creative and you can get a really stunning dessert sorted out for the family and um, absolutely good for you. Chocolate has um, good serotonin levels and so um, good to have as well. Healthy fats in chocolate, especially like a, a chocolate like Nova because it's got made with coconut oil and co cocoa butter. على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر This chocolate coconut berry tart with an almond crust is a real family pleaser. There's no refined sugar in it. It's made with healthy ingredients, topped up with fruits, figs and pomegranates, which are Sunnah Rasulullah and fruits of Jannah. It doesn't get better than this. Try it out, have a go. Deliciously good. Ramadan Eats with Shaz Eats. Enjoy. على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر